Hello logical people, this is Venkatesh. There are three keys that open locks of three different gates. In how many attempts you can figure out the key for each gate? This is one of the most interesting logical puzzles asked during interview. Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. Once done, continue watching the video for the right answer. Let me explain the solution now. There are two interpretations to this puzzle. First interpretation is to identify the key for each gate and opening it. Other one is just to identify the key associated with the gate. According to first interpretation, that is to identify the key for each gate and opening it. Assuming that it is always the last key that works, the first lock will take three attempts, having eliminated one lock per key. The next takes two attempts, leaving one attempt for the last lock. Hence, 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 6. Hence, to match all the keys to all the locks, the maximum number of tries is 6. The minimum is 3. The formula is 3 factorial or 3 times 2 times 1 or 6. The first lock takes at most three tries, the second lock two tries as one key was eliminated. The last lock takes one try as only one key is left. Hence the best performance in three attempts for three gates, getting right in the first attempts for all of the three gates. And for the worst performance in six attempts for three gates, getting right in the third attempt for the first gate getting right in the second attempt for the second gate and getting right in the first attempt for the third gate. Let's solve the problem for second interpretation. That is, just to identify the key associated with the gate. Let us take one lock at a time. Now for one lock, we have three keys, but if two keys does not open it, it becomes obvious that third will do so. So maximum attempt for lock one is two. Similarly, we have two keys now for the second lock, but if one does not work, we know that other would do so. Hence, maximum attempt for lock two is one. And for lock three, we do not need any attempt because there is only one key left, which would be the right key. So maximum attempts in this particular interpretation will be three. Hence, for the first interpretation, that is to identify the key for each gate and opening it, the answer is six. And for the second interpretation, that is just to identify the key associated with the gate, the answer is 3. That's all for this video. Let me know for any questions I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.